Hey YouTube, George Briarman here. A little house of keeping. It's a uh, no name. It's a uh, Ben Brandy, and inside, welcome to Shartwell. Good stuff. <clears throat> Um, IBN Music gave it to us at the conference and uh, spoken it again. It's, it is really good. So Ivan, get a hold of him, man. I need to get some more of that. Hope you're having a good Saturday and Father's Day is coming up. Two things. Two things. First being, do you have a plan? Now, when I say plan, I'm not a, uh, I'm not what, what you call a prepper. I haven't really prepared anything. But in these times, stuff happening around the world, the uh, euro looks like it's collapsing, which will either strengthen the dollar or hurt it. What happens if uh, society kind of goes down south? Would um, would you go to somebody's house? Do you know who to trust? Are you ready for it? I'm not. Unfortunately, I should be, but I'm not. Fairly confident I can... I can uh, protect the family. I just don't know if I can feed them. Something I need to work on. Everybody should have at least three days or more of food on hand if something happens. Food that you don't have to keep cold or frozen if power goes out. Um, you know, what would you do? Where would you go? How would you take care of yourself and family? And the most important question, what pipe and tobacco would you take with you? I have, <clears throat> I'm pretty confident that myself I have a good year's worth of tobacco stored up. If I smoke two, three bowls a day, I've got about a year's worth of tobacco. My brother has about, about the same amount, if not actually a little more than I've got. So at least that would be taken care of. Just a few things that, uh, you know, just something I was pondering sitting here. Father Day's coming up. My daughter's in from college, you know, for Father's Day. Um, for you guys who don't know, I've got three kids, uh, two girls and a boy, 22 years old, 19, and 18. My son's 18 years old. All of them great kids. Uh, I've, my wife and I have been very fortunate, very lucky. And, of course, they're my babies. I love them. So, I 
YouTube, just a big question. What would you do? Where would you go? Would you team up with someone? My son's coming out here. Would you team up with someone? Would you, uh, form a little group? Or would you try to gather as a family and and weather it out? What would you do? Just a curious question. A lot of stuff to think about for just in case. I'm not saying you have to prepare for a, a, a meteor or a world ending disaster but you know something that that could tide you over at least three days maybe even six months if something happens stuff you always have to think about you know and uh, another thing that kind of brought this to mind today I was talking to someone and I, and I just kind of asked them, I said, yeah, cause we were talking about the financial markets. I'm like, yeah, what happens if there's an economic, you know, breakdown? What would you do? Money would be worthless. And uh, they say, well, we just make it by day to day. I'm like, well, what about, have you not prepped anything or prepared? He goes, ah, oh, preppers are crazy. I'm like, yeah, but the first thing that came to mind was, well, you know, Noah was a prepper. I mean, he prepared for how many years building that ark? People thought he was crazy. Everybody else died but him and his family. Mm-hmm. And, uh, of course, we kind of, he, he kind of laughed at it. And more I thought about it, you know, something else. Egypt had that seven-year famine. Joshua told him, said, you know, we're going to have seven good years and seven bad years. And for seven good years, they stocked up on grain, wheat, stuff that they could survive for seven bad years. So that's uh, just a little, little tidbit to think about. So, all right, guys, I'm not crazy. <laughs> just some, you know, just to ponder. And, you know, that's what we do with pipes. You know, I want to give a shout out to uh, um, Old Cornish Pipe. He has a lot of things he talks about, and you know, he gets you to thinking. And this pipe, many of uh, inven inventions, many thoughts have been pondered while smoking a pipe. Kind of gives me clarity at times, I think sit down, enjoy, just relax. Help you think. So, if you guys haven't had a chance <clears throat> to check out Old Cornish Pipe, uh, his videos are fabulous, fantastic. I highly recommend them. I love to listen to him and his stories. He uh, is very enjoyable. Oh, uh, Ag's mom, <clears throat> Amber. <laughs> uh, oh, and Mark. Man, y'all's videos are, are super. I love it when Mark brings the uh, the puppets out. You know, you're sitting there talking, all of a sudden you see the puppet start talking to you, and he leaves. And then Mark comes in through the other door as if he's just now entering the room. That's priceless. That's great. Uh, you guys are wonderful. I love watching y'all's videos. And, uh, of course, you know, my wife, uh, she gets tickled every once in a while watching those too. So, uh, you guys, I'm going to cut it off now because it's nine minutes now. It is way too long for one of my videos. I try to keep them short. So, anyway, y'all have a good one, and uh, we'll talk at you later. Stay smoking, my friends.